Me and Rongo were just dropping in on Charnel to see how she was going. A beer. Hot oh, tequila would be good. That's me, ex. <laughs> There's a pair long. Nah, probably 20 minutes. Wasted a fucking good bottle of JD on him. Look, okay, I don't want that. I want that. <laughs> the true love of Charnel's life was this guy with the mullet. Psycho Pete was his name. He was known as one of the most badass fucking bikers going around back then. Wasn't scared of nothing. Not even the coppers. <laughs> you met Charnel when she started stripping at age 17. And yeah, he put a little half Samoan baby in her guts. And they argued over the name. He wanted to call her Harley, like the bike. She wanted Charnel like her own name. But they met in the middle. They came up with Charlie. Hey, Chanel, I just bought a stab proof jacket from the pub. Come help me test it. He was tough, but not one of the sharp tools in the shed. Uh, I can't. I've got to change the baby and I've got to get ready for me shift here at the pink pussycat, don't I? Well, that's what happens when you buy stuff from junkies down at the pub. <laughs> she was pretty cut after he died. And since then, she hasn't had much luck with the fellas. I guess having an old man like Bob and a boyfriend like Pete, well, that's a tough act to follow, eh? You just gotta keep it on, keep your arm nice and straight, all but, right, darling. But it's annoying. Yeah, darling, I know that, honey, but you just gotta do it, all right? Rongo and me hadn't seen the girls for ages, so we were shocked to see little Charlie like that. The doctors found she had a rare medical condition, and in Australia, they didn't have the drugs for it yet. So if she was gonna get cured, she had to go overseas. Poor oh, baby. I mean, she's really sick. First me dad, now her. I'd known Charnel a long time, and I'd never seen her cry like that. I felt worse because I made a dick of myself on the chair just when it happened. So, how much do you reckon you're gonna need? I'm gonna need about 150k. I mean, the fucking hospital's in Switzerland. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. That's a shit go with her kid, bro. It's a cunt of a world, isn't it? Fucking cunt of a world. I'm just gonna take a piss. Grab us a beer, bro. What's up with you? You're sweating. Fucking, I'm fine. Fucking nothing's wrong. Nothing. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, this is her. What? I was spinning out. Bob had actually died the night before. I'm a staunch character. That shit was freaky. Like a dad to me. Happy riding up there, bro. Do you 
going to say something? Yeah, I can. Yeah. I'm looking at Bob, and he looks dead. What did I see before? <laughs> Maybe if I poke him, mm -hmm. see if he moves. I'll give him another one. I'll give him one more. Me? I must have been off chops before. He's dead as a fucking doorknob. <laughs> I wasn't fucking joking. You and Rongo owe me. <laughs> you get that money from my granddaughter. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> well, well, well. If it's not Drongo and fuck with. We come to pay our respects to that man. So years better fuck off. Bro, we should have smashed them. I was waiting for you to throw the first punch. It's a funeral, mate. They've got the etiquettes, mate. Mate, you're a legend. Best mate a bloke ever had. You never sold out. Rest in peace, Bob. Oi, you're fucking lucky. Tiny got busted. If he was fucking here, he'd rip your fucking head off. Well, you know what, mate? If he's gonna go around doing fucking drive-bys on people, you know, <laughs> well, what, what's gonna happen, mate? What fucking drive-by? How dumb's fucking Tiny? After he's taken them pot shots at us, he went to his girlfriend's house and got really pissed. Get drunk out of your mind, you fucking idiot! Fucking bullshit! I've only had two beers! I'm so brave! Brave it! I'll beat you a head job, then you'll smash off your kick! Damn! Oh! Then the big ape goes down to the cop shop, flexing hard on his roids. Oh, so he can try and win the bet, he demands a breath test. Sure. W would you mind telling us how you got here? I fucking rode! What do you think, dickhead? One breath test coming up. Instead of getting a blowjob, <laughs> he blew over the limit. Idiot's back in jail. He violated his own parole. Bro, I've done some dumb things. That was dumb. Hey, we're gonna have to get Sean all that money, mate. 150 grand. How are we gonna do that? I don't know, but I've got my brain styles working on it. But first things first, because we weren't invited to the wake because the hunter showed up, we had to do our own memorial barbecue for Bob. Barbecue. I don't need food, just ice. It's a memorial barbecue, dickhead, right? It's compulsory. Put it. Me and you, we're gonna go get the piss. <laughs> hey, junkie, you're in charge of getting the barbecue, all right? Oh, what, bruh? Don't fuck it up. Hey, man, we need you to go get the meat. Meat. Good. I'll go get breads, plates, and some sauces. Here we are, Dad. In the backyard, just like you wanted. We're ready to send you off with a bang, Dad. Hey, what, what's this?